Running Enterprise Edition Virtual Machine Image using VirtualBox. Download and install VirtualBox. On the VirtualBox website, choose the version suitable for your operating system and download the installation file. Double click it to launch the installer and follow the Setup Wizard instructions. You can simply leave all the default settings unchanged. Wait while VirtualBox is installed and click Finish. Download the Enterprise Edition image. On the OnlyOffice.com website, go to the Pricing Server, scroll the page down and click this button. Choose the image for VirtualBox and press Download. When the image is downloaded, go to the Downloads folder and extract the files from the archive. Create a new virtual machine. In the VirtualBox Manager, click the New button. The new virtual machine wizard opens. Click the Expert Mode button. Specify your virtual machine name. Select Linux from the list and make sure the Ubuntu 64-bit option is selected. In the Memory Size section, specify at least 4 GB of memory. Select the Use an Existing Virtual Hard Disk File radio button. Click the button on the right and select the Unpacked Enterprise Edition file. Click Create. Change the machine settings. Make sure that your virtual machine is selected in the list and click the Settings button. Open the System menu. On the Motherboard tab, uncheck the Floppy and Optical options. Go to the Processor tab and enable at least two CPUs. Switch to the Network menu. Make sure that the Enable Network Adapter option is checked. Select the Bridged Adapter option. Then expand the Advanced section and choose the Allow All option in the Promiscuous Mode list. Click OK to apply the changes. Run Enterprise Edition. Make sure that your virtual machine is selected in the list and click the Start button. When the virtual machine with Ubuntu is booted, you will be asked for access credentials. Enter OnlyOffice as your login and OnlyOffice as your password. After that, you will be asked to change the password. Enter your existing password, OnlyOffice, first then specify your own password and retype it. Adjust network settings. Open the forward slash etc forward slash network forward slash interfaces file in a text editor. Your network interface is currently set for using DHCP. Replace the DHCP value with the static one and add other network parameters such as IP address, net mask, default gateway, DNS name servers, save the changes, restart your virtual machine. Set up your portal. Open a browser and enter the IP address that you've specified at the previous step. On your portal welcome page, Specify the password and email you want to use to access the portal. Click this button to upload your license keys stored on your computer. Accept the license agreement terms. Save the settings. That's all. Now you can start working on your portal.